This is just a rough diagram of how one might set up a, a 1000 watt ZVS induction heater. It's there just to give you an idea of the components that I think are basic to putting together a system and making it work. Uh, rough wiring and uh, water plumbing is included here. This video is for the maker who is just becoming interested in the small-scale ZVS induction heating boards and systems to be found all over the internet. I have spent a lot of time and effort attempting to make your entry into this field as rewarding and as painless as possible. Recently I began drafting an instructable on how to assemble a ZVS induction heater system from off-the-shelf components. While doing so, I realized that you need a little history slash present slash future lesson to help you decide what kind of a system you want or need to build. So here goes. Back in about 2015 or so, there were only a few of these small ZVS induction heaters for sale on the internet. Basically these three sizes. A 120 watt 5 volt to 12 volt system that comes with a small solid wire work coil and cost about seven dollars USD. Really only a toy. Then there was a 1000 watt 24 to 28 volt system which drew 20 amps max but it only had two 0.33 microfarad capacitors so it must have run at a very high frequency. I'm suggesting 200 kilocycles or more. This one usually came without a work coil and has no good way to provide coil cooling. They cost about $20 and I do not recommend that device. Then came the popular 1000 watt 12 to 48 volt 20 amp ZVS induction heater. They usually come with a six turn two inch ID work coil. This one uses 6.33 microfarad capacitors. With the stock work coil, they run at about 90 kilohertz. This was the most popular model and is still widely sold. All of these units used one pair of MOSFETs to drive the tank circuit. None of them came with cooling fans. There were not any combination packages available, so each customer had to figure out what other components would be required to produce an operating system. A year or two later, a 12 to 48 volt, 40 amp, 1800 watt model appeared. It used two pairs of MOSFETs and 9.33 microfarad capacitors. They usually came with a 10 turn, 2 and 5 eighths inch ID work coil and ran at about 44 kilohertz. By this time they all came with a pair of 12 volt cooling fans and a little buck converter to drop the input voltage for the fans. Within a few months of that a couple of sellers started offering combinations. The most complete combination that I saw included the ZVS heater board, cooling fans with buck converter, 48 volt 50 to 60 amp used server type power supply, a circuit breaker to be used as an on off switch for the DC power, a water pump, tubing to connect the work coil cooling system and if needed a separate uh, wall wart type of power supply for the water pump. That produced a nice system. Originally the basic 1800 watt heater cost about $90 USD. The best combo package brought that total to almost $200. A couple of months later we started seeing 2500 watt 50 amp models. They used three MOSFETs in parallel on each side of the push-pull circuit and have 12.33 microfarad capacitors. This model also comes with a 10 turn 2 and 5 eighths inch ID work coil. They run at about 38 kilohertz. The basic board with cooling fans and work coil cost a bit over $100 USD at the time. Combo packages like the ones for the 1800 watt unit were and still are available for these systems. 
Now we fast forward to late 2019 or early 2020. The field has really exploded with many interesting new offerings. Sizes up to 4,000 watts, 48 volts at 85 amps. Have fun finding power supplies to fit. Not impossible, but you really got to do some shopping. ZVS units with built-in overcurrent protection and built-in displays. Complete operational systems with all components assembled into one open-sided chassis. Some even include a fan-cooled water reservoir. A few manufacturers or sellers have even packaged these same ZVS heaters into nice looking consoles, which, by the way, approximately double the price of the open sided chassis models. I have not included any links to sellers or to specific advertisements here since the ads come and go, but Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, and Banggood all sell these products. The best search criteria to start with is. ZVS induction heater. Prices on some units have dropped considerably. Sometimes that is good for us, the customer. But lately, the lowered prices, especially from Chinese seller, has been offset by high shipping costs. So read carefully as you shop. Caveat emptor. The labs and marketing departments of those companies seem to be working overtime to attract makers all over the world into buying their stuff. What will they think of next? I hope this little history present and look at the near future session has been beneficial for you. Now go out and get the stuff you need.